Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. I am at Nail Techniques, home of Fusion Canada, also home of Clear Jelly Stamper. And I'm gonna take you guys shopping with me because there are some fun items here that have grabbed my attention on the whole weekend that I've been here. Let's go shopping. Okay, so first up, whole bunch of fusion colors. You guys know I have a whole bunch of them, not shopping for fusion stuff. They also have Orly, which these are kind of grabbing my attention here. Bridge filler, tough cookie, whole bunch of different finishes and things that you can get. Oh, Cutique, I love Cutique. Cutique, cuticle and stain remover. I love this stuff, I actually really like this packaging. The one that I have is quite a bit bigger than this, but this stuff works really, really well. And then I haven't played with too much Orly gel polishes, but one of my favorite Orly gel polishes, let me see if I can find it. It is called Rage. Check out my rose gold video because I do show it in there. We keep walking and then we get caught up in the nail art stuff. You guys know brush or here. I always like to check out the different brushes. And I do have a couple in my shopping cart already. Ooh, these ones look like fun. Got like a marble handle. These brush holders, absolutely love these. I have these, one of these at my filming desk and then I also have one at my nail desk too. I love those. A lot of people ask where you can get these hot rocks for the fusion um, builder gels and you can get them here. Oh, they do sell swatch rings. Another question that I get asked a lot where I get swatch rings from. And then they have a whole bunch of 3D molds up here. You can use these with gel or acrylic. There's lots you can do with them, and I like this one. They have a butterfly one. They also have this like, bow one over here. The bow one would be fun. You'd get a lot of use out of this one. Then they also have the whole clear jelly stamping wall. I'll show you guys some of my favorite plates. Obviously this one. <laughs> this is the Roses Floral Garden plate. Love this plate. Ooh, I think this one is new. I don't think I have that one. I don't have all of the smaller plates. There's actually quite a few when I was looking on the Clear Jelly Snapper site that I don't have. These are new. You guys have seen these on my social media, but I think these are so cool. The circle and the line plates. Snowflake plate. If you guys do not have the snowflake plate, it's definitely a top 10. Ooh, this is another one of my favorite plates too, this like flourish plate. Spring swirly ones, butterflies, florals. Those are all my favorite, most used. Did a tutorial on this plate, the wine plate. Oh, and this is the mom plate. I haven't showed you guys this one yet. It is in my like to show you guys bin. How cute is that one in person? I haven't seen it. This stamper is definitely a new favorite. If you guys have not taken a look at this one, I really, really like it. I love the big bling, but I don't know. This one might be replacing it. I love this one too for precision stamping. Showed you guys these holographic plate holders. They have like mini ones of the clear jelly stamper ones. So in silver, holographic and the rose holographic and then fusion has a few of their own chromes you can get like a fusion kit i have a separate video up i'm pretty sure on these Ooh, what's down here how cool is that kate that's going in the basket i like these like bigger striping tapes too they have some of these like really thick striping tapes i have a client who absolutely loves these and then this is actually something that I haven't used from Clear Jelly yet, is their stamping plate cleaner. So, oh, and then the pink big, big bling, another favorite stamper. This is actually a favorite of mine too, is the Clear Jelly Stamper mats. Frick, I need to film a favorites video for you guys. These are also new uh, polish stations from Clear Jelly, and that is what these racks look like over here. So I don't need any sundries or anything. I'm all stocked up on those. But one thing that I did want to show you guys, this is a new fusion brush and Megan from Mega Nail Supplies, she was talking to me about this brush. It's supposed to be really good for applying the fusion colors. So I definitely grabbed one of those to put in my bin. Oh, you guys know how much, uh, how much I love brushes. What is this brush? The synthetic sculptor brush. A bunch of brushes up here. And then, oh, they have those individual marble ones. I love that marble brush set. Part of me is going to go back and look at it, I think. Oh, I love this brush set. How pretty is that? Okay, I think I'm going to get this too. I just can't help myself with brushes. 
Now the Fusion Pink Chrome is something that I recently just added to my cart because it looks so fun. Here is some examples of them. How pretty is that? I can't wait to play around with that a little bit more. I love this. And then they do have a few different Swarovski crystals here. If you're gonna start with Swarovski crystals, these little kits are awesome because these are three of my favorite sizes. Oh my gosh, I love this one. What kind is this? Light Colorado Topaz, really? Oh, that's pretty. I do like that one. Oh, is this rose gold? This is rose gold. I'm just about out of these ones. And they do have a few of the bigger ones here too. So like these skulls, they've got some diamonds over here. Oh, these stars are fun. I like those. And Fusion is discontinuing all of their UV gels. And I wanted to show you guys. They have Afternoon Siesta, which is, I think it might be sold out. Oh no, here, I see one. That's fun. Like my hat, one of my favorite purples of life is this Afternoon Siesta. It's got like a really pretty pearl finish to it. I love that color. I'm not a lash check, but they do have a whole bunch of different lashes and they actually have their own brand of lash glue and lashes. And then this is something I haven't tried yet either. This is the Nail Techniques Gel Polishes. I've heard nothing but good things about these though. And there was a color when I was kind of browsing earlier that really grabbed my attention. <laughs> this one's actually really pretty too, this light pink. Let's see, this one though. I think it would be a really pretty rose gold, number 39. Also this one, number 34. I swear that's a Talia color. Nail Techniques also sells their own, I guess you would call it products. Like they've got polish remover there. I wonder if it smells like anything. And then they've got a whole bunch of their own lotions. They had like a strawberry champagne one at the front desk. It is amazing. It smells so good. And then they also have their own like sugar scrubs too. More fusion colors. We've got the paints, we've got the chameleon sparkles. Now this is something I was super excited to check out. I have, again, heard nothing but good things about the Fusion Forms. I am definitely gonna get a roll of these to play around with. And you guys saw we had way too much fun at the glitter bar. I think this is such a fun idea. Mixing your own glitters, having people come in and mix your own glitters, it is so cool. But if you are unable to come in and mix your own glitters, they do have little kits of glitter mixes that you can mix, get as well. And these aren't even glitter mixes, these are like <laughs> metallic studs. Oh, I love those. And then these are their pigments. Also some packs of glitters here too. And I saw these posted on their social media, but they have unicorn glitters. So they have this silver unicorn heads. And then also it's like these white ones too. How fun are those? Pink unicorn heads as well. I'm also 100% good on any sort of implements or anything. But lots of fun ones here. So Nail Techniques also carries a whole bunch of Atwood Industry bits. And thus, um, these ones are like my favorite bits, not this one specifically. It's become quickly become one of my favorite cuticle bits. So thank you guys for coming shopping with me at Nail Techniques. I am going to cut away to the haul from when I get home and I will show you guys everything that I picked up at Nail Techniques. So I did pick up two of the NT gel polishes. This is number 39. And as you guys saw, it's a really pretty kind of champagne rose gold. I feel like this went on in one coat, but I did go in and apply a second one just to build it up again, but I don't think it was necessary. It's a gorgeous color. The next gel polish that I got was this one here, which is number 34. A really pretty almost champagne pink color. This is a stunning color. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. Again, this metallic type of finish I feel like went on in one coat, but I did do a second one to build it up. You guys know I can't resist a good brush collection, so I did pick up this marble set. There's five brushes in it. There's this large flat UV type of brush. Then there's this smaller UV type of brush. Next, there's this brush, which reminded me of the block brush from the Selena Riding Kit. There is this pointed brush, which would be great for crystals, and then another flat brush. I also wanted to test out this Fusion Gel Brush. I really liked the pink sparkly handle. This brush I've been using for my color gels and it gets nice and close to the sidewalls and cuticle. I'm really enjoying using this brush. This Fusion Pink Chrome is so fun to use, you guys. I do do a little bit of a demo here. So I do have a tackless top coat applied to the nail stick already and I had cured it for 30 seconds. So this is me rubbing it in. This sponge is actually from Shoppers and I'm gonna feature it in an upcoming favorites video soon. But you can see how easy this chrome is to apply and it worked really well over that gel polish too. I've used it over top of a gray, dark gray gel as well and I much prefer the look of it over this pink, but it is a stunning chrome. So this was only one coat, but when I did use this on my client, I ended up doing two coats of the exact same process and it was even more chromey if you guys can imagine that. 
This pack of glitters was one of my favorite finds. I can just envision so many fun nail designs with these. So they had a bunch of different colors in here. There's this one here that is kind of like a fiery red orange type of color. These stars have a bunch of different shades of green in them. There's also some silver hints to it as well. This shape here, this was really fun. I can see these with unicorn nails. It's really pretty like opal blue type of glitter. This is a really cool opal coral type of glitter as well. Really pretty. Next one here is another green one, but this one has some more like moss type of greens. There's some gold stars in it instead of silver. This is a really pretty iridescent star one. I think this one's cool too. This is a diamond shaped one with red, pink, bronze type of shades to it. Next one here, this one's really cool. It is a white type of glitter. Another green set, but this one is the triangle type of shapes. Then we have this really pretty purple set. There's some green hints to this one too. Next one is this finish. This would look really good with some of those chromes out there. That's a really fun one as well. Now I thought these glitters were studs, but they are 100% like an actual super fine glitter, which will be perfect for embedding in combination with your glitter gels. I also wanted to show you guys all of the glitter mixes that I made up at the glitter bar. Oh my gosh, you guys know how much fun I had at that glitter bar. Now four of these are very similar shades and I can't even tell you guys what glitters were specifically in all of these, but I was really leaning towards like the rose gold, holographic, chunky sparkles. This one turned out to be one of my favorites. I love the combination of the matte with it too. But I think I'm going to get some really fun use out of these. You guys know that I like to use loose glitters like this, especially chunky ones kind of dabbed into my wet gel. And I think that these will be really fun additions to my glitter collection. I did grab two of the unicorn head glitters and you guys will see these used in an upcoming tutorial soon. I did grab another one of my favorite Atwood Industry Bits. If you guys haven't tried this for Around the Cuticles, you need to. It is amazing, but so, so gentle. You guys saw I did grab a pack of the Rose Gold Crystals because I'm running low on some of these smaller sizes. I'm hoping this striping tape gives a similar effect that Mylar gives, just in like long straight lines. I'll do my best to get a tutorial filmed on how to use this. I did grab the Fusion Forms, which let me tell you guys, these forms are game changing. My sister-in-law was recently in and she has super, super high hyphenicums. So the actual cutout for it works really well for her and her feedback is that they were super comfortable unlike any forms that I've tried out there before. They are also a nice stiff form and super sticky, which you guys know I love. Now I had never seen these foil remover wraps and I thought these were kind of intriguing. So what they are is a little cotton sponge on a foil wrap all ready to go. Then you can just wrap it around the finger when you want to do soak off gels or soak off gel polishes. I typically file, but I'm super curious to see how these work. I did get a little package from Clear Jelly Stampers. So we have some black and white stamping polish, which you can never have enough of. Another one of these double ended small stamping tools, which I absolutely love this thing. Uh, they had this new plate come out. You guys know how much I love swirls. They also had this risque plate come out. I love this like sexy lace print on the side. I think I can get lots of use out of that. And Clear Jelly came out with a baby plate. I absolutely love this because this will be great for gender reveal nails, grandma nails, mom to be nails, pregnancy announcement nails. I think this plate is super versatile and I've yet to find a good baby plate like this one. I really liked this plate here too. I think this will be really fun for Valentine's Day nails, but you can also use it a lot of the time of year with the flowers and stuff at the bottom. You could also use it for like Ed Hardy type of nails. This would be a really fun plate and versatile in your collection as well. Now this flamingo plate is the one that you guys saw that Debbie was demoing on Susie's nails. I think there's a lot you could do with it. Again, especially because there's a lot of floral and nature elements to it as well. Now this mom plate I think is so adorable. I remember I got a request for mom nails a few years ago and I didn't have a plate that I could use for it. This would be perfect for any of those type of nail requests that you might get in your studio. This plate is the delicate garden plate. I have seen a lot of pictures shared on Clear Jelly social media using this plate. And again, super versatile, lots you can do with it, especially for spring and summer nails. 
Now this bookworm plate was literally just released today. This again, a super fun plate. I love all the different elements on it. This would be really good for like teachers or librarian clients that you might have. And that's it for my shopping at Fusion and Clear Jelly Stampers headquarters video. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Make sure you follow all my social media and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.